Welcome back to African Air Owners. Just got another delivery in from Pelicans.com. This time, <laughs> there's nothing on the box. So as you guys know by the thumbnail, this is for the Eagle Claw. Uh, Seneca Eagle Claw in 25 cal. So let's see how what is in this box and how it's packed. Okay. Stubborn. All right. Oh wow. So this is how the rifle comes in the box. Obviously, you can see that this box is, uh, which would be turned the other way around uh, if this was in the US because it'd be imported by a Venturi. So this is a Seneca Eagle Claw in two five cal, and this is how it comes in the box, and this is how we get it here. So I think next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out the box and see what all, everything that came with it all right so absolutely beautiful rifle again these are actually made by sam yang and they have changed their name to seneca and even cherry imports these into the us and pelicans.com imports these into south africa and other agents for them absolutely beautiful rifle amazingly built quality really really good uh, beautiful stock in letting on stock is really really nice um, and what comes with the rifle you get two seven shot magazines so this actually has an extra shot compared to the Sumatra so that's one thing that's nice about it and it's a bit of a different magazine one thing to note about these guns guys these guys can take the longest of pellets uh, and long two five cal slugs very very nice you get a full probe with two spare uh, o-rings manual highly recommend you read it you got your warranty card, you got your little Allen key for making some adjustments. And then um, the rifle is not is threaded, but it's threaded on the inside. So I went ahead and ordered a, a, a Donny FL adapter uh, that uh, you can order in the US from Donny FL or if you're in South Africa from pelicans.com. Overall, absolutely beautiful rifle. Barrel length on this is around about 600 uh, millimeters. Uh, this section is uh, suppressed in here. It has some suppressor in here. But these are very loud rifles. So again, highly recommend adding a suppressor if you're going to use your backyard. Uh, air capacity is 480 cc's. This is a steel air reservoir. It does make this rifle somewhat a bit on the heavy side, but not that heavy. Uh, manometer, it's a, three, uh, it's a 200 bar fill. You've got your power adjuster wheel, just like a Sumatra, and lever action just like Sumatra. So, overall, absolutely beautiful, beautiful rifle, and I'm excited about this one. Um, 25 cal, so this is gonna put down some extra hitting power, and also because of the long barrel compared to the carbine version, uh, I suspect it's gonna be quite nice and powerful. Uh, nice recoil pad on this. Overall, guys, absolutely beautiful rifle. Um, really, the stocks on these guys, the Koreans, uh, if you guys don't know, Sam Yang were probably the first to bring out the big bores in commercial uh, up to 50 caliber. Um, and then you had all the, you know, the other guy, Benjamin and everyone else, Air Force follow after them. So they are, were the leaders in the commercial ver of big bores. I'm not talking about, you know, the small scale private guys that were making custom big bores. So, the guys built really nice guns. Uh, again, these are not target rifles, they are hunting rifles. Uh, so we don't expect to get that bench rest accuracy out of them, but overall, super, super nice rifles. So next next thing is to get this out to the range and see how she shoots. Stay tuned for that. All right guys, back on the range with the Eagle Claw in 6.35 millimeter. Uh, absolutely beautiful rifle. It's from Seneca Air Guns or Sam Yang, whichever you prefer, out of Korea. So I've got loaded up with uh, the exact King uh, Heavy Diablo, the Mark IIs and 33.95 range. So let's see how that shoots up. Uh, Diablo Mount, uh, Valiant, um, it's 6 to 24 by 50 uh, scope on there. So let's see how they shoot.
as a blank shot. Absolutely super impressed. 55 yards to shoot like that. Just from my hunting rifle. Absolutely awesome. Alright, next I've got to load up with the same Yang uh, pointed pellets, the hunting pellets that are 41 grain. Let's see how they shoot. Alright, not too bad. Um, rifle's not on, on full power, so but the grouping was pretty decent, I gotta say. There's a couple of flies, not too bad. Alright, next I'm gonna load it up with the 41 grain uh, hunting pellets. Now, what I'm gonna do is I've turned the power to low, and we'll shoot a couple shots at low, and then I'll turn the power up gradually, and we'll see where low and where high is. Alright, so that's low. So now I'm going to increase it. A couple of uh, um, clicks. Alright, right, so that's kind of mid power. Next, I'm going to turn it all the way to high power. So that's full power for the pointed Samyang hunting pellets. Alright guys, so there you have it for the uh, first video on the Eagle Claw. Must say I really like the rifle. Um, numbers pretty decent, not too inconsistent considering it is a hunting rifle. Um, again, accuracy. The rifle is, it's, it's not a bench race rifle and I think anybody that will fool themselves to say that it is. But as you guys can see, it, it did actually get really good accuracy with those JSBs. Obviously it wasn't at full power, uh, it did turn the power down to get a decent group. Uh, but that said, it was still hitting down range with some authority, I've got to say. 2.5, very nice hunting caliber for wild pig um, and some small game. Guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.